Julia Child once said in a mellifluous voice, <laughs> cooking is like love. It should be entered into with abandon or not at all. And I always enter my kitchen with wild and abandon. Please no goat cheese and Dana. Mm -hmm. And for me, cooking is love. And it's more than just an ingredient in my food. It's actually, I stir it in, I, I put it in with all of my ingredients. So, I'm going to do a little cooking demonstration. And then you guys, guys, all of you get to eat the cake. All right, so, all recipes, all baking recipes, start with some form of flour. And when I cook, I use a gluten-free flour mix. And I do that on purpose because I don't know who's coming to dinner. Not necessarily every time, but sometimes I do know who's coming to dinner and I know that they can't eat gluten or one person in the group can't eat gluten. And I, so I always use gluten-free flour so that everybody who's coming to the table can eat. Anytime you add chocolate to a recipe, you add in a luxuriant feel, taste, sensation. There are some people who don't like chocolate, but for the most part, everybody really loves chocolate. Alright. This contains baking powder, baking soda, salt, and xanthan gum. Now, we don't really think about it as we add these ingredients often because who knows what baking powder or baking soda tastes like. It's not like anybody's going to taste that. But they, they create texture, they create rise, they give the uplift to a cake. If you eat a cake that's nice and light and fluffy, you're going to have a different experience than something that's like hard and very, very dull. Salt makes everything taste a little bit sweeter. If you add salt to your sweets, your sweets will become sweeter. All right, eggs. Eggs contain the mystery and the magic of creation itself. Again, when we're baking, eggs are just another ingredient, but eggs How many of you bake without eggs? Almost everything you bake has an egg in it. Why is that? Well, the proteins in the egg help give us structure. They help bind it. All right, this is the fun part, the sugar. Now, yes, I have recipes that don't include sugar. But what's Valentine's Day without a sweet? <laughs> I mean, really. So there's lots of sugar. <laughs> wow. <laughs> lots of sugar. <laughs> Why do we add sugar? Why do we want things to be sweet? Why do you want sweetness in your life? We like sweets because they're, they're comforting, they're uplifting, they're addicting. So we have to be careful. All right. This contains the coconut milk and the oil. And again, I could use dairy. I could use milk or sour cream or any number of different things. But again, I know there are people in this room that can't do dairy. So I substitute coconut milk. It's a great substitution. You have almost no idea that it's been substituted. Oil and milk or coconut milk adds a lusciousness to the mouthfeel. There's nothing worse than a dry cake or a dry bread. Now, the cake part for you guys. I'm going to invite you to try a piece of cake. <laughs> Awesome. I'm not sure everyone will get a cake. <laughs> <laughs> Cakes are used for celebration. 
decorations. They're used for anniversaries. They're used for birthdays. You don't have to have cake, but very often cake is expected. Have you ever been to a wedding where you haven't had a wedding cake? No. No? There's all kinds of famous quotes about cakes, but the reality is that, that a cake is a great way to honor those that you're, that you're spending time with, especially if it's a flavor that they particularly like. Tonight, I've made a chocolate cake, and I've added some spices. Now, spices can not only make the food more interesting and more flavorful, but what spices you use can also determine um, they can have meanings, there are meanings to the spice associated with the different spices. And since we're celebrating a romantic love holiday, I've added today some saffron, some cardamom, and some clove. And those all are not only love-inducing, but they are somewhat lust-inducing. <laughs> and so, <coughs> as you all begin to sample this cake, I'm actually going to tell you what I, what, what I actually physically stirred into this cake. When I stir, first of all, do you realize that most of you will stir something clockwise as opposed to counterclockwise? In a more magical setting, doing something clockwise is binding things in. So as I stir, I often talk to my food. It's a little silly. But I, I often, especially when I'm preparing food for other people, I'm like, oh my god, they're going to love this. Oh, they're just going to love this. It's like I'm willing it to just love it. So what I'm, what I'm going to share with you now as I stir this is what I stirred into the cake that I made earlier for you to eat tonight. May all of you who are brave enough to partake find love in yourself, in your partners, and in your dreams. May your passions be inflamed. May you find delight in the sensuous feel of the food upon your tongue. And may you have a twinkle in, in your eye, a smile on your face, and enough courage to enter your kitchen with wild abandon. Because cooking is love. Oh, nice.